Barakalafikum. There is a question here, Barakalafikum. Yeah. The questioner is asking, he said, there are some callers here in Nigeria who ascribe to Salafiya but continue to defend the likes of Hassan, uh, Ali Hassan al Halabi, yeah. while being well aware of his deviation and errors. They keep trying to convince the people by making excuses for al Halabi and defending him. So, to cut the question short, his, uh, his question is how should we relate with this type of uh, callers? Do we propagate, do we keep propagating or spreading them as du'at of sunnah? Mm. This is the question. Alhamdulillah, these affairs have already been clarified by the scholars. And so, Alhamdulillah, we just say what the scholars have said already, already with regards uh, the followers of Ali Hassan and other than him, the scholars have already spoken about the deviation that he came with. Now, and from that, he used to say, we do not make, and if we differ over somebody, we do not, with that person that we differ over, we should not differ ourselves, Naam, regarding those whom we differ over. This is a Batil Qa'id and Sheikh Rabi showed that it's futile because yani, what if the person that you're differing over is a person of Bid'ah and you defend that person of Bid'ah like Abu Hassan and others who came with the various principles and various uh, uh, Qawaid that opposed the way of Ahlul Sunnah al Jama'a when he spoke about the Sahaba saying that they are scum and then he took it back in writing and then after that he he uh, he said they don't know what speaking about Sahaba is. Yeah, and he's speaking ill of Sahaba is. And he had six levels, six marahil regarding this affair of speaking ill of Sahaba. So that was clarified by Sheikh Rabbi Hafidullah. And alhamdulillah, he clarified that this is not befitting. And the person who speaks about Sahaba, he should openly, just as he spoke about Sahaba openly, he should also take it back openly. So we we differ with regards them. Because this is a person who has brought a new, uh, yani, ill statements against the Sahaba. He spoke about Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. This Abu Hassan spoke about Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. Radiyallahu anhu, that he didn't have good opinion of Ibn Sayyad. And Sheikh Rabi defended Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, radiyallahu anhu. These affairs have already been discussed and have already been exhausted and clarified by, by the scholars, the likes of Sheikh Rabi ibn Hadi and Sheikh Abayd al-Jabri. Um, and other than them from the scholars, alhamdulillah, in fact, in Medina, the scholars gathered and they made Abu Hassan make Tawbah. And then after that, Abu Hassan became even worse because he undid his Tawbah when he went to Jeddah and he gave a lecture and he said they don't know what reviling Sahaba is. No, they do know. The scholars do know what reviling Sahaba is. And we found the Halabi, they just went on and they didn't clarify his bid'ah, nor did they defend the scholars who refuted uh, these errors. And that was wrong, actually. That was a battle. And so those who end up followed him, following him, they end up compromising uh, principles of the Sunnah. From that is to have wala and bara, love and hate for Allah's sake. And so if a person is a person of bid'ah, we don't help them nor do we defend them, nor do we stay quiet over them, especially if they're spreading their vida far and wide. Rather, we should clarify that this is wrong. And we say that we don't accept any statements against Sahaba, we love the Sahaba, we speak ill, uh, we, we don't, we, we speak only well of them, the Prophet said, إِذَا ذُكِرَ أَصْحَابِ فَمْسِكُمْ When my companions are mentioned, then withhold. And you don't speak about them with bad speech. And this should be the belief of Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, wherever they are, only speak about Sahaba with good speech. Radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhum. Allah is pleased with them and them pleased with him. So this is just one example of his bid'ah, of Abu Hassan's bid'ah, where the followers of Al-Halabi didn't really clarify the errors and nor did they defend the scholars who refuted this error. Rather, we found them cold and not actually clarifying the errors of this individual, this individual actually went even worse with regards his vida. Abu Hassan came on the Egyptian television and he said during the Sora, during the revolution of 
uh, against uh, the leader at that time. And he said, uh, it's upon the Ikhwanis and the Salafis to come together upon common ground. Again, this is not the Aqid of Al-Sunnah or Jama'ah to come to common ground with the Ikhwanis. And there was a statement that Sheikh Ubaid al-Jabri said that this man is Ikhwani. And then you can see from this statement what, I mean, where he would, where he would, uh, uh, I mean, uh, where the agreement is. Because this statement is not a statement of the person of Sunnah. To say that it's upon the Ikhwanis and the Salafis to come together upon common ground in dealing with the affair of the leaders, rather the Salafi, you and Alhamdulillah, they have already foundation in how to deal with the leaders. They supplicate for them, for their benefit, they advise them secretly, alone, and they don't speak out openly against them, nor do they call for revolutions. No, rather they call to tasfiyah and tarbiyah, purification and education. And you may see as a long way that this will bring about rectification after maybe 100 years, 200 years, doesn't matter. Why? Because man istajala shay'an qabla awanihi uqiba bi hirmani, whoever hastened something before his time doesn't reach his time, doesn't reach his goal. Rather, he doesn't reach his objective. But if you do it the way of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba, you will reach your objective. And if even if you don't see that khair in, or the fruits in your time, then later, inshallah, the fruits will be seen if you follow this blessed path. As Shaykh al-Albani, rahimullah, used to say, تَرْجُوا النَّجَاةَ وَلَمْ تَسْلُكْ مَسَادِكَ إِنَّ تَفِينَةَ لَا تَجْرِ عَلَى الْيَبَةِ You want success, but you don't tread its path. The ship cannot sail over dry land. So it's upon the followers of these individuals to turn back to the truth and turn back to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and the manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah Jama'ah in how, uh, and how to deal with the rulers and how to <coughs> deal with also the people of innovation. Now, and that we clarify the errors of the people of innovation and we move forward upon that, alhamdulillah, so that the people do not fall into those innovations. That is rahmah, Allah. That is rahmah for the people. We don't want the people to fall into innovations. We don't want people to fall into shirk and bid'ah and disobedience. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us all to the truth. And that those who erred have erred. In many cases, uh, many of the followers you find are ignorant. They don't know the reality. But if they were to read the rudud of Sheikh Rabi'i, masalan, of Abu Hassan al-Ma'rabi, they will know what the whole affair was with regards many of the things or mawaqib that Abu Hassan had towards defending him or towards speaking ill, uh, speaking, uh, Ill of, uh, of the scholars, which was, uh, which was really, uh, which does not harm the scholars, alhamdulillah. So may Allah guide them and guide us to the truth. Uh, we have one, one or two questions more. Um, so those individuals, show them the rudud of Sheikh Rabi'i on all of these ones that he mm-hmm. refuted. And show them the rudud of Sheikh Abd al-Jabri of those who refuted. Now, and you have no, statements no. of uh, Sheikh Farid Fawzan on the issue, on the issue that he spoke about when they asked him. Now, and likewise, Sheikh Al-Ghudayyan, rahimahullah, on what he advised. And likewise, now, uh, those who brought with knowledge, extra knowledge that others didn't bring, take. Take from them, but you find people, what they'll do, they say, oh, but this scholar didn't speak. Five, if that scholar didn't speak, others spoke. And the asal is to go back to the Dalil. It's not a matter of uh, just uh, fighting and arguing. And it's, it's a matter of Dalil. We love the Dalil. We love the proof. So whoever goes against the proof, then we don't follow them. But whoever speaks with the proof, then we follow them, alhamdulillah, and we take the position that they have taken because they spoke with proof, with the lead. No.